Yo guys, it's JJ here. And before we get into this, obviously by a change of my environment, I am not currently in my home base. So excuse the fact that I do not have a microphone. I'm currently using the camera as the mic. So if the audio is a bit weird, there's a reasoning. But without further ado, I'm gonna be taking you guys for a beat that I tailor made for Lil Double O himself for his new album, Walk the World. And I thought it was super dope, so let's get into this. First of all, one thing I know about Lil Double O, he loves his pianos. This beat that I made was very much inspired by the song Switch, you know, the one with e ESTG as a feature. Super dope song, but as you can see, we've got ourselves a VST called Piano V2, and I'm using a preset called American Large Studio, which is my go-to preset. As for the pattern, as you guys can see, it's relatively simple, but I'll walk you through it. First of all, I laid down my root notes, then took it up an octave, so it's nice and layered. Then on top of that, I literally just built the chords that came with each root note, as you can see. Then from there, I copy and pasted it over to create the eight bar. However, before I did anything, I was like, let's see what I can do. So added a few transitional notes, thought it sounded great. And as well as that, on top of that, I added these extra notes as like a nice little top line, and it just fills out the room a bit more, keeps it nice, varies it up a bit. So. That's why I've done that. Then on top of that, I clicked Alt S to strum the melody, making it sound more human. And on top of that, Alt R to randomize the velocity so it sounds like it is a human playing the piano. And now without further ado, this is what the piano sounds like. And there you have it. Very nice chords and you can't go wrong with it. As for effects, as you guys can see, very, very basic. Cut off all the lows, cut off frequencies I wasn't a fan of and docked a few of the highs off. On top of that, I added a semi-decent amount of reverb, as you can see by the presets that I've chosen. And then I just there separated this like 25%. Next up, we got another preset from Purity and it's from the bass synth bank. And I'll use a preset called Simple Saw Try. It's just a very basic synth bass. And as you can see by pattern, again, it's relatively simple. All I did was just follow the root notes of the previous chord progression and that's all I needed. So without further ado, this is what the bass sounds like. There you have it, very simple, don't overthink it, and let's get into the next one. So, next up we got a standard preset, again from Purity, except it's from the Bells and Perk bank, and it's called a Delay For You Bell. And as well as that, I went into the Edit tab, and then just slightly increased the attack, so it had a much softer input, and it kind sounded more like a bell slash bell pad, so that's why I did. And then these are the patterns I came up with. As you can see, very simple again. You don't want to overthink this stuff. Just make it sound dope and hard. Let the rapper do his thing. Let Lil Double O walk on the beat. So as you can see, this initial pattern repeats itself over here and there. However, all I did was just change this nice little last note and that's all I really did. And then last but not least, just click Alt R to randomize the velocity. That's all that was needed. So without further ado, this is what the melody sounds like. And there you have it. Sounds super nice. It had like a nice little rhythm and flow to it. I really, really messed with the melody. Now for the effects. As you can see, very basic EQ at first. Then next up, all I did was add a bit of a free chorus, the default preset, but I turned the mix down to 40%-ish. And then on top of that, just got to have a decent amount of reverb. So there we are. Oh, and last but not least, I stereo separators, as you can see, 56%. Just wanted to widen the sound in the mix, have no frequencies clashing with other sounds. Thought it sounded really dope. And now for the last sound in the whole melody, we got ourselves expand two, and I'm using a preset called Cascading Bells from, of course, the Bells Bank. So as you can see, very simple pattern yet again because you don't want to overthink the stuff. You just want to keep it nice, trappy, and hard. So I kind of just laid down the same pattern over and over. However, as you can see, I went from a G sharp down to a C. Nothing much, nothing less. It's just like a nice little accent sound that goes throughout the melody. A nice little bit of variation keeps the listener on their toes and the rapper on their toes as well. So without further ado. This is what the melody sounds like. Now for effects, I've got a very, very small EQ because the sound really didn't use many frequencies. So I just cut off all the excess. Got a fruity panomatic because I thought the sound going left and right just gave it a nice little bit of variation. And on top of that, a slightly heavy reverb. And then of course, stereo separation wise, I just maxed it out completely because 
I just thought, let me have this far back in the mix, but you can still hear it pick up on the sound. Nice little bit of variation, so that's why I did that. And now, without further ado, this is what a full melody sounds like for Lil Double O. And there you have it. Very simple, super dope, nice and hard. Again, just enough for Lil Double O to do his thing. But now, of course, we gotta move on to the drum pattern. So let's start off, of course, with a clap. Very standard clap, we all know and love it. And this is what the pattern sounds like. And there you have it. I'm not gonna play the full eight bar because we've all heard it before. Then next up, we got ourselves, of course, a really creative hi-hat pattern, as you can see here. And I don't really need to explain much about it. It's a very basic two-step, and this is what it sounds like. And there you have it. And now, of course, we got sort of a very, very lovely back kick. And of course, three simple words max that velocity. So to do that, click Control A, you just scroll the wheel and you see that velocity thing, make sure it's going to the top, top, top. Because when it's at the max, the kick really punches through the mix. It just brings that out a lot of color, makes the beat even harder. So never forget that. As seen, the pattern is very simple. However, it repeats every two bars with a slight bit of variation here. And that's all it really is. So without further ado, here's the kick pattern. And there you have it. And now next up, we got our snare pattern. And as you can see, the very basic snare bounce that we got going here has a little bit of variation. When it hits the four bar, instead of repeating, I just took out this one note and then let that loop over for a full eight. And then last but not least, I added this nice little snare roll just for a bit of like a little transitional thing. So without further ado, this is what the snare sounds like. And there you have it. And now we got another very basic open hat pattern, repeat every four bar, just add emphasis to the kick and the 808 as you guys can see by the way the pattern has been placed. And without further ado, this is the open hat. Very simple. I don't think you guys want to hear the whole thing. And now you may be wondering, oh, but why are you using all these very basic sounds? Why are these patterns so basic? You have to remember, you want the artist to do his thing on this. You don't want it to be too complex, especially for who you're aiming at. So in Lil Double O's case, just get a nice hard beat going and always make sure your sound selection is key. You want to have really, really hard hitting drums, especially, especially if you're going to be making a simplistic drum pattern. But we're not done with the drums. So let's get into the 808s and we're using using the Zay 808 in this instance. And as you can see, the airway pattern just follows the root notes of the chord progression. And that's all you need to know. And of course, you want to max your velocity by clicking Control A again, using that scroller wheel, because you know how we do. We ride and die by that rule. And without further ado, this is what the airway pattern sounds like. And there you have it, very simple. And now without further ado, this is what the whole drum pattern sounds like. And there you have it folks, you made it to the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've learned something new. And of course, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe all that down below. I appreciate the love and support and take it easy. Peace.